Okay, good day. We are now on the planting practices in crop production. First, we need to have a seed analysis or seed testing. In this seed testing, we need to know if the seeds are viable or it will germinate when it is sown. So it is a procedure for gathering pertinent information about a seed, its capacity for establishing a stand of the seedlings. So without the waste of time, without the waste of money and effort on sowing and expressing the time, you need to test first your seeds if they are or the percentage of its viability before planting it to hectares of your land. So for the methods of seed viability testing, first for the A, standard germination test. So we know already the germination is the process in which the seeds is now uh, sprouting its radical and it is already viable and can grow to a specific plant. So first we have ragdoll method or the rolled towel test. You, you, we can use rolled a towel, use cloth. You need to use some sticks for it to roll up or roll down and need some tie on the sides of the towel and then sprinkle it with water after arranging the seeds on the towel and sprinkle with water. Then after a days, after days, uh, radical will now sprout and see you can now open the rolled towel for you to determine how many seeds are germinated on the number of the seeds that you have sown. So the seeds are arranged in rows and rolled up. The rolled materials is placed in a germinator at 90% relative humidity. If you will not use a germinator, of course, uh, you can place it in the you can place it in the low light or the cold place of your house or any area of the laboratory. So at 26 degrees Celsius for 16 hours and then another 8 hours of 30 degrees Celsius for one to several weeks for it to germinate. For a second, we have seed box method. You can see in the picture, they have seedling tray and seed box, of course, in which they are properly lined and put some seeds and sown together in the sterilized soil. So you know already the process in sterilizing the soil in which to avoid the diseases or the seedborne diseases caused by pathogens and some microorganisms that grows and lived on the soil. So we need to sterilize it for them to be dead and to avoid contaminations and dumping off of the seed and the seedlings and to avoid seedborne disease. Third is the petri dish method. Seeds are placed in absorbent material in the dish. So you can see uh, petri dish method is you can use the petri dish itself. Okay, you can put some paper napkin or the tissue then lined with in line with the seeds you need to count the seeds of course and put some water after sprinkle water and then cover the, its lid its lead and wait for it to germinate so to determine the seeds if they are viable if they grow uh, to know the percentage germination of the the seeds you need to compute it's sown over the seed germinated so for the letter b we have tetrazolium test we need to use chemicals these chemicals will uh, the seeds will be treated with it for them to 
uh, to be known if they are viable enough or not. If they are viable, it will turn red to pink or pink to red. And if it's not viable, it will remain colorless or remain under uh, natural colors. So it is a colometric test in which the biochemical reaction causes the test solution to change color under certain conditions. Respiring and viable seeds will change color to red. Dead or non-respiring seeds remain colorless. So second will be the seed purity test. Uh, earlier, we discussed about tetrazolium test in which in this seed purity, you can see um, the difference between the four, four seeds tested and the pink to red ones, the A and B, are viable because they, uh, the, the seeds reacted to the chemical and turned to pink and red, while the non-viable ones, the C and the D, are the seeds that um, are not viable and will not germinate, or because of their dead um, embryo. So there are definitions of seed purity in terms of first is this example in this example that you need to separate the non-viable one to viable one because viable one will be the one to germinate and will be put into the packaging and then uh, to market. Well, the other definition of seed purity is example, you have two mixed seeds from the eggplant and the tomato they are the same uh, family which is the solanaceae we have they have the small uh, seeds separate them so you need to easily pick each other the one belongs to eggplant and the ones belong to tomato to avoid confusion during the uh, seed sowing because when it will grow they have no purity on the seed box so you need first to um, secure the purity that it, the seeds are pure eggplant and the other one is pure tomato because in the some factories if it is not pure then questionable that you planted an eggplant then some of the spaces were grown or tomato Grown. So for the reproduction, you need to secure the seed purity test of your commodity of your seeds. Seeds of your commodity. And that's all. And that's all. Thank you.